Hello students. In this video, I will be deriving the expression for curl in terms of orthogonal curvilinear coordinates. So if we consider a vector f in the orthogonal curvilinear system, we have f1eu plus f2eb plus f3ew. Now EU can be written as H1 grad U, EB is H2 grad B, and EW equal to H3 grad W. So vector f can be written as f1 h1 grad u plus f2 h2 grad v plus f3 h3 grad v. So we have Curl of vector f is what we require. Now, curl of phi f, this is equal to phi into curl of vector f plus gradient phi cross vector f. Now the, the vector f can be written in terms of summation as f1 h1 grad u. We'll call this x expression 1. Now we apply the vector identity on equation 1. So curl of vector f, this is curl of summation F1 H1 grad U, which is summation curl of F1 H1 grad U. This will be summation F1 H1 curl of grad U plus gradient of F1 H1 cross grad U. Now curl of gradient is always zero. Now gradient of F1 H1 is 1 by h1 dou by dou u of f1 h1 into eu plus 1 by h2 dou by dou v of f1 h1 ev plus 1 by h3 dou by dou w of f1 h1 E W. So we'll call this as equation two. This would be equation three, and this would be equation four. So we substitute three and four in two.
So curl of vector f will be summation from 3. The first term will be 0. So 1 by h1 dou by dou u of f1 h1 e u plus 1 by h2 dou by dou v of f1 h1 e v plus 1 by h3 dou by dou w of f1 h1 e w cross grad u is e u over h1 now the orthogonal curvilinear system being a right handed rectangular system we get ev cross ew is eu ew cross ev eu is ev And EU cross EV will be EW. So we will be requiring this expression. This expression here and E V cross E W or E U will result in minus E W. Now the parallel vectors, the cross product will result in a zero. So curl of vector F will be summation. Now the first term will be zero because of parallel vectors. The second expression will result in 1 by h1 h2 do by do v of f1 h1 into minus e w plus 1 by h1 h3 do by do w of f1 h1 into e b now in the denominator here we find h1 h2 and h1 h3 to complete the sequence <coughs> we can multiply and divide the term, each of the term, with the missing term. So we have 1 by h1, h2, h3 into here in this term, when we multiply and divide by h2, we have dou by dou w of f1, h1 into h2 ev minus dou by dou v of f1 h1 into h3 ew Expanding this, we can write one by H one, H two, H three
into dou by dou w of f1 h1 h2 ev minus dou by dou v of f1 h1 h3 ew plus dou by dou u of f2 h2 into h3 ew minus dou by dou w of f2 h2 to h1 eu plus dou by dou v of f3 h3 into h1 eu minus dou by dou u of f3 h3 to h2 ev now we can collect the like terms together so curl of f will be 1 by h1 h2 h3 into the coefficients of eu that will be dou by dou v of f3 h3 minus dou by dou w of f2 h2 into h1 eu plus dou by dou w of f1 h1 minus dou by dou u of f3 h3 into h2 e b plus dou by dou u of f2 h2 minus dou by dou u of dou by dou v of f1 h1 into h3 ew Can we write this in terms of the determinant? This turns out to be H1 EU, H2 EV, H3 EW, dou by dou U dou by dou v, dou by dou w. Here we have f3 h3 on the first term here minus, so we get f2 h2 here. So this will be f1 h1. In Cartesian form, u is replaced with x, v replaced with y, w is replaced with z. So h1 will be 1, h2 will be 1, h3 will be 1. So curl of f, this is equal to i, j, K dou by dou x, dou by dou y, dou by dou z, f1, f2, f3. In cylindrical coordinates, U is replaced with rho V by theta, W by Z, H1 will be 1, 
h2 is rho h3 is 1 so curl of f will be 1 by rho e rho e rho e theta e z do by do rho do by do theta do by do z f1 rho f2 f3 in spherical coordinates we have u replaced with r v by theta w by phi so h1 will be 1 h2 is r h3 is r sin theta so curl of f will be 1 by r squared sin theta e r r e theta r sin theta e phi do by do r do by do theta do by do phi f1 r f2 r sin theta f3